in this video I want to show you how to link files you have stored in your Zotero library with a project that you've created in liquid text. This is all being done in Windows 10 and using liquid text for Windows and Zotero for Windows. It may not apply to other operating systems. I've already created the project in liquid text so I'll double click on it to move into that project. The other thing is in the library I've created just a demonstration library with two entries in it and I already have the PDFs attached to those. If you haven't already done it I recommend that you highlight the PDF, right click and choose rename file from parent metadata. This will make it much easier to import the files in a moment. In Zotero, each of these PDF files is stored in its own folder. If you right click on the PDF and choose show file, it will show you that folder and you'll see that the PDF is already named uh, to match what you saw in the library. At this point you just drag it over into liquid text and drop it and it will import it into liquid text. We're going to do this for two and so I'm going to go back and this time I'm going to go to the Zotero library, choose the other PDF, right click show file and I'm going to go to add another document, choose Windows and then it just so happens I've already been to this folder and so you just click on this and click open and it will add this file to the liquid text library as well. At this point you can close the folder and you really will not need Zotero for a few minutes either. I'll go ahead and make that uh, minimized and I will drag this over so that it's a little larger. So now we can go in and we can highlight any text that we see in the document and click highlighting color. It will highlight it. We can go to annotate and we can add an important note of some sort. And we can even drag this around to where we want to see it in the document. Same thing here. Uh, we can go and highlight some text and we can give it a comment and say that this is important to, to know as well. When we're done with highlighting and annotating and reading, we then can click on the Home button in Liquid Text and you'll notice that a window will pop up and if you click on the arrow you'll see that you have some options you can always sync the changes that you have made in the PDF, the annotations, just for this project, for all projects, or you can leave these turned off and it will prompt you each time. And basically what it's asking you is do you want to take the highlights and the annotations you've made in liquid text and send those back to Zotero? And if you do, you click Send and it will transmit these back. Now the PDF still exists with the annotations in liquid text but if you go back to Zotero and you double click on one of these you'll see that the highlighting we just did is actually in the PDF in Zotero. Uh, 